What's up guys, it's Mike from Mikneltech and this is my unboxing and first impressions of the Techno Camon 16S. Techno is getting really fond of releasing various models of a particular phone and for around 60,000 naira which converts to 130 USD, I think what we're getting here is the best of both worlds. Let's get started. So right here we have the Manchester blue colored box with a deeper blue color towards the center. Pretty nice. Peeling off the leather felt good as it would and as it should. And next up we are greeted with the smartphone, wrapped in its own very skimpy clothing. Let's take out the plastic coating and see what we have inside. After I removed this, my first thoughts were, wow, this phone looks good. Just love the blackish matte plastic back on this smartphone, I'm really a fan. Let's turn on the phone course. You can't beat me if I do. The bootup process took long but I guess it's normal for a new smartphone. And thank god this time around we are allowed to get into the UI of the phone. Shout out to Gozi. Moving upward, I can say that I love this display. It's really good for a 720p panel and you can hardly tell the difference between this and a full HD screen. Of course, there is no high refresh rate like we have on its eldest brother, the 16 Premier. But the mid-range octa-core processor makes this phone quite snappy. And still on the display, the only obstruction we have is the punch hole camera on the top left of the screen. It's a bit huge, but not as huge as some gigantic notches we still see on some 2020 smartphones. Only difference is that this smartphone is way cheaper. Hmm. Anyway, moving to the cameras. We have a 48 megapixel quad camera set up behind and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. The quality is really good. And as I opened the camera app, I noticed immediately that the video quality was a bit better than that of my smartphone, the Redmi Note 9S, which I'm currently using to film this. So, that is good, I guess. And the front facing camera is quite okay ish. I'm in a poorly little room at the moment, but if it's anything remotely close to that of the rear, to be a beast of a front facing camera. The battery life on this smartphone is actually incredible. It has a 5000 mAh battery, and coupled with a 720p screen and lack of a high refresh rate, and also having a power efficient chip helps a lot. This phone will give you up to 2 days of battery life on a single charge and for a heavy user probably one and a half, best in class indeed. Then for the performance, we have 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage and this phone is powered by a 2.0 gigahertz octa-core processor. So you can be rest assured that gaming on this smartphone as well as performing day-to-day -day tasks will be as smooth as F. Of course, this is not as smooth as the Camo 16 Premier due to the fact that it lacks a high refresh rate and a less power efficient chip, but it's still good enough. Finally, who is this phone for? Probably someone that is on a very tight budget but likes to take photos, play games and also likes storing a lot of files on his smartphone because this phone excels in all these areas. And let's not forget his amazing battery life. That is why in the beginning of the video, I said that what we are getting here is actually the best of both worlds. Alright, thank you all for watching. This remains McNeil Tech guys. If you loved what you saw, kindly subscribe and turn on post notifications by smashing that bell icon. And I will see you when I see you in my next video. Peace.